So uh, let let us begin. So welcome to uh, MA one zero six linear algebra. So in this uh, lecture, we will do uh, basic things about uh, matrices. Uh, the uh, we will begin with uh, fixing notation for numbers and vectors. Uh, <coughs> a minute. Yeah, so these are the notations. Uh, script P will denote set of positive integers and N will denote set of non-negative integers. Uh, many times we say natural numbers, but it is not clear uh, whether zero is included in natural numbers. So this is the notation. Uh, which is popularized by uh, Richard Stanley. Uh, he writes P for positive integers, so it begins with one, and N for non-negative integers, so it uh, includes the integer zero. Uh, Z is set of all uh, integers, negative, uh, positive, or zero, and Q is the set of all rational numbers. R will denote set of all real numbers, and C will denote the set of all complex numbers. Uh, the n-dimensional Euclidean space, we will denote it by Rn, and uh, Rn consists of uh, vectors with n components. The components are real numbers. Similarly, we can write Cn to denote vectors with complex entries, or Qn uh, to denote vectors with rational entries, and, and like that. Okay. Uh, the zero vector, uh, bold phase zero, will denote the zero vector. And from the context, it will be clear how many components the zero vector has. Uh, we have following standard operations among vectors in Rn. Uh, we can add two vectors with components x1 up to xn, y1 up to yn, and alpha will be a real number. Uh, so if we are adding real vectors, uh, we uh, can use uh, alpha uh, to denote the uh, scalar, which is a real number. We can add the vectors by adding them component-wise, and this is uh, in in uh, it is consistent with the physical interpretation of vectors. When we add two vectors or two say uh, displacement vectors or two force vectors or two acceleration vectors, uh, we add simply we add the components. Uh, so that is the sum of vectors. Uh, we can uh, scale a vector by a real number, uh, alpha, and we will denote this by alpha x. And when we scale a vector, we scale every component. So the components of alpha x are alpha x1, alpha x2, alpha xn. It's a real vector. Uh, we are familiar with the dot product in the, uh, in the plane and in the three-dimensional space. We extend the uh, definition of dot product in Rn. So dot product of two vectors in Rn is simply the sum x1, y1 plus xn, yn. So we, we multiply the corresponding components and add them. And th we are familiar with this dot product. Using the dot product, you know that you can test whether two vectors in, uh, in three-dimensional space or two-dimensional space are uh, perpendicular. Uh, simply by testing whether the dot product is zero, okay? And using the dot product, we can also measure angle between vectors. So you know the formula for cosine of angle between vectors. Cosine, if theta is the angle between two vectors in the plane, then cosine theta is, is uh, simply uh, can, be, can be found from the dot product. Now we move on to fix the notation for matrices. So a M by N matrix, where M and N are uh, non-negative integers, uh, with real entries, it's a rectangular array of real numbers arranged in M rows and N columns. And we have standard notation for displaying the row vectors and the column vectors and a general entry the general entry is uh, denoted by AJK, and AJK represents the entry in Jth row and uh, Kth column. Okay, and when we write 
AJK surrounded by square brackets, we mean that the general entry is displayed, uh, which is displayed in the square brackets, is in the jth row and kth column. Okay, so this is the notation for uh, general matrix. And you know that uh, the mat matrices, uh, matrices did not exist uh, 150 years ago, uh, but now uh, matrices are everywhere. Even modern technology just cannot be done without using matrices. The data is arranged in rectangular arrays of dimension two or dimension three or higher dimension. And uh, one does uh, all kinds of wonderful things with this data. So matrix has, has become part of uh, modern technology. And we manipulate matrices just like we manipulate vectors by adding or taking scalar multiples, etc. So matrix in that sense, it's a generalization of vectors. A vector is, a, is can be thought of as a matrix with one row or one column but a matrix has uh, arbitrary number of rows and ar arbitrary number of columns. Uh, so the set of, we will be dealing with the set of M by N matrices with real entries, and then we denote it by R with the superscript M cross N. So M cross N represents the size of the matrix, and R denotes that the entries are real numbers. So just think of all the M by N matrices put together. And uh, this set, we will see later on, that it becomes a vector space. And we can add matrices, we can multiply a matrix with a scalar, and we can uh, multiply two matrices with some conditions on their rows and uh, columns. Uh, so many things which we do with vectors can also be performed on matrices with, with some uh, restrictions. So if A is a matrix with the general entry A, J, K, and B is a matrix with general entry BJK, and uh, they are both of the same size. This is important. Uh, we, when we are adding matrices, they have to be of exactly same size. So just as when we add vectors, they should have same number of components. So when we are adding matrices, they should have same size, M cross N. Uh, so we, first of all, we have to define when two matrices are equal. Because our objects are matrices. And so first we have to understand when two matrices are equal. So two matrices are equal if AJK is BJK for every J and every K. So the entry in Jth row and Kth column of A is equal to the entry in Jth row and Kth column of B for every entry. Uh, then and only then we say A, A is equal to the matrix B. There are uh, special types of matrices we will be dealing with throughout the course. So N by N matrix uh, is, called, uh, uh, is called a square matrix. So the number of rows and number of columns is equal. So it looks like a square when we display it. So we say it's a square matrix. And a matrix is called symmetric if uh, AKJ is equal to AJK for all J and K. That means the entry in the Jth row and Kth column is equal to the entry in the kth row and jth column. So when you uh, look at the uh, the entries on the principal diagonal, that is the entries A11, A22, ANN, they are sitting on the principal diagonal. And uh, with respect to the principal diagonal, the matrix is symmetric. So you can reflect uh, thinking of a mirror uh, placed on the principal diagonal. And when you reflect, then the, the matrix doesn't change. Okay. Uh, in contrast with symmetric matrix, a matrix is called uh, skew symmetric uh, if AJK is minus AKJ. Okay. Uh, and a square matrix is called a diagonal matrix if uh, the, the entries which are away from the principal diagonal are all zero. That means AJK is zero for all J not equal to K. A diagonal matrix, uh, AJK, is called a, a scalar matrix if all diagonal entries of A are equal. So a scalar matrix is a special kind of diagonal matrix. Okay. Uh, there are some more definitions. Uh, identity matrix is a scalar matrix in which all diagonal elements are equal to one. Uh, so it's a special kind of scalar matrix. All diagonal entries are one, and the off diagonal entries are zero. The zero matrix is the matrix with all entries equal to zero. Okay. 
So the zero matrix will play the role of the number zero when we are adding, and identity matrix we will see it plays the role of number one uh, for multiplication of numbers. A matrix is called upper triangular. If uh, A J K is zero for J bigger than equal to bigger than K, which means that entries below the principal diagonal are all equal to zero. Okay, so if at all there are non-zero entries, they are they they can be on the principal diagonal or they can be above the principal diagonal but all the entries below the principal diagonal they are zero so this is called upper triangular and a similar definition for lower triangular a lower triangular matrix has all the entries above the principal diagonal equal to zero so we write it as ajk is zero for j less than k okay so we have identity matrix zero matrix upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix and uh, uh, here are some remarks a matrix is upper triangular as well as lower triangular if and only if a is a diagonal matrix so upper triangular uh, means that all entries below the principal diagonal are zero and lower triangular means all entries above the principal diagonal are zero so if it is both upper triangular and lower triangular it must be a diagonal matrix every, every diagonal entry of a skew symmetric matrix is zero because the condition for skew symmetric matrix is that a j k is equal to minus a k j for every j and k so if put j equal to k then it says that a j j is minus a j j and so that means that a j j is zero so all diagonal entries of a skew symmetric matrix are zero okay here are some examples you look at this 3 by 3 matrix uh, 1 2 3 2 4 5 3 5 and you can see that this is a symmetric matrix so in the first row and third column we see 3 and the same 3 is sitting uh, across the principal diagonal in the third row and first column uh, likewise so if you reflect along the principal diagonal which consists of 1 4 0 1 4 6 uh, then the matrix doesn't change so this is a symmetric matrix and similarly this is a skew symmetric matrix so the the entry in the first row and third column is 3 and it is minus 3 in the first column and third row okay. similarly for others and you see that the uh, entries in the principal diagonal are all zero okay so we have this symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix uh, this matrix is diagonal uh, because all the entries above the principal diagonal principal diagonal consists of entries 2 3 4 all the entries above the principal diagonal and below the principal diagonal they are all zero and uh, this matrix where all the diagonal entries are 2 and other entries are 0 that is an example of a scalar matrix okay then this matrix uh, is upper triangular because all the entries below the principal diagonal they are 0 so entries which which are significant that means which are non zero they lie either on the principal diagonal or above the principal diagonal so that's a example of a upper triangular matrix. and this is an example of a lower triangular matrix all the entries above the principal diagonal they are equal to 0 okay now we introduce the row and uh, column vectors of a matrix so row uh, vector of a length row vector a of length n is a matrix with only one row consisting of n scalars so we are we are now specializing that uh, vectors with which we are familiar Uh, they are special case of a matrix a matrix with just one row and any number of columns is called a row vector so uh, if it has n components we say it's a row vector of uh, of length n and it has n scalars okay and we uh, we write it this way the first entry we will write as a1 kth entry as ak and last entry as an so we don't use the uh, double script notation For for this, unless uh, we really need it, okay. So row vectors will be denoted by this. We we don't write a one one, a one two, etc. We simply write a one, a two, a k, a n. So therefore, it it coincides with our notation for usual vectors in n-dimensional space. Okay. Similarly, a column vector of length n is a matrix with only one column and any number of rows. And we will write a column vector in this way. we display the entries as b1 b2 bk bn okay so row vectors will be always written like this and i mean column vectors 
and row vectors are displayed like this. But for many times, uh, because of lack of space, a column vector can be written in terms of row vector by taking its transpose. So we'll come to that later. So suppose we have two matrices of same size, okay, m by n matrices. Then uh, the sum a, is, is uh, written as a plus b. And just like vectors, we add the corresponding entries. That is the sum. And uh, scalar multiple of a uh, matrix uh, is for alpha as a real number. Then alpha times A is the matrix which is obtained from A by multiplying every entry by alpha. So this, uh, the, the special case of this is uh, when we take scale a vector. When we scale a vector, every component has to be scaled. So similar uh, definition applies for a scalar multiple of a matrix. So when we scale, a matrix A by alpha, we write it as alpha times A, and this is the matrix where every entry of A is multiplied by alpha. Okay, So that is the uh, scalar multiple. So we have these two important operations among matrices. We can add matrices of same size. We can multiply a matrix by any scalar and get a scalar multiple of the matrix. 